please join me in welcoming Kitano. Yeah. Kitano was born and raised in the greater Philadelphia area. He has an MA in English from the University of Southern California, where he focused specifically on 19th and 20th century African American literature. Some of his work will be appearing in the 2017 edition of Juke Literary Journal, and by most accounts, he's a really nice guy. <laughs> So, uh, as most of you, many of you know, I've uh, been working on a larger poem called Anvil. Uh, I want to read some pieces from it. Uh, many, some of you already know. Uh, so, for people that aren't familiar with it, it's about a young African American boy growing up in the uh, Jim Crow South. Uh, his, uh, his father owns a store which is burned down. He dies, uh, and the family is completely splintered. <clears throat> One. I want to go home, written across frosted window panes, potted, boiled soft on the kitchen stove, coughed in the palms of my hands, slathered out on sliced bread, I want to go home, hop a porch toward the screen door, watch my father shave face, mother bake cake, solve a puzzle in the paper, see an upright sun cast beams down through the trees, crisscrossing the ivory keys of our family piano, I want to go home, days grow shorter, Portioned. Morning dew has become a firm, failing frost. I sleep shivering, this blistered foot in my eye, and bathwater scarce, something we all sullied, share. Lord, take me home, the way it was. Hominy grits for hungry stomachs, burned bacon, plum, peach fillings, and books, browning, heavy bound, so many books. Home, brand new church shoes come Easter Sunday, early services in the first pew. Home. Tickets to the cinema, beef tips in the stew. Home, quick tiffs with sister, jasmines blooming. Home, million brilliant days like ones before. Home, I want to go home, retrace rivers, kick teeth from its blue glassy current. Mm -hmm. Two, I'll speak my own river into being. Mine, black as spilled ink, cool as bottled milk, old as water itself running still, deep, charged with pale moonlight. I'll speak a wooden raft beneath my bare feet, soaked logs, knotted twines, floating slow inches down the very center of this silent, rapidless world. I'll speak this sturdy stick gripped between my hands, long, strong, pushing me along, clutching its dull, sludgy bottom while glinting silverfish scurry about the igneous surface, flipping out of, in the clean, shallow air. A negro on his river, primordial, on towards the near edge of glory. Here, I'll speak all sorts of crazy things in my sleep. Three, the word, Iceman was born slave. We mustered up some nerve, asked tactlessly if, and he turns away, untucking, removes his sweated shirt. Gorge, gorges, mountain peaks, low valley, dried riverbeds rushing nowhere. We study the raised topography of his lashed back, like hawks soaring above it, in awe, unsure of what we saw. An old man, just a boy, must have stolen the whole ocean. I asked what he'd done, and he said, run. Four. First time taught to pray, my knees ached against the hardwood. Heads, hands, bedside, repeating mama, our Father art in heaven. Her burning candle threads smoke to ceiling while she spoke soft and sweet as hot buttered pound cake, the kingdom, the power, the glory. And I thought, so this is how one talks with God, as with any white man, but honest. Five. Somewhere brave boy stops kicking. Young lungs topped by silted river water, group gone quiet on the bank. Willing misfit ripples to disturb the red clay drape as one runs home for help. Shirts and pants on branches, socks and shoes. Mother in another woman's kitchen fixing her boy's very special breakfast. Somewhere a boy's eyes grow quiet, unfettered into the clarified expanse of mama washing, drying, dropping her mistress's dish. Six. 
Your fate fills my mouth, cakey, sweet as evening breeze, ten cent a piece. Blade, bullet, rope, want to know how you go, mister? Said nope. Swans die from a steeple, choked by another man's hands, collapsed coal mine. Same story, wrong place, time. Down pool hall made a drunk man shudder. He knew what he'd done, so I lied. Snatched the guy's dime, ran the alleys. Seven. No, wasn't scared to sit in pastor's chair, breathe sacred airs, blazed barefoot, shirtless through tight vines, unripe, unsliced, unfried tomatoes. They swear, grab new girl booty, play in her hair. I tightrope atop the pews, where his red wine robe passed plate, survey an empty sanctuary, pray for one great pardon before storms trample the citrus sky. Thunderclaps, lightning striking tiles. Eight. Caught us watching sweet brown bag Juanita dress, gave each right hidings. Although you knew we had to do it and would most definitely again when given half the chance. She took our tears, made gravies, fed hungry babies, potted they grew roots, blossoming, but would never get to witness sweet Juanita in a triptych mirror, making appraisals, brushing her long black hair. Mm -hmm. Nine. Yeah, well I got my dollar on young boy in back, one with stone cold stare, gritty eye, rock fist. He's the sleeper. Leave loudest boy in heap for reaper. Split lipped, cracked tooth, broken nose. Grown old, mama, God rest her soul, always cautioned two things. Razor edge got nobody's name on it. And two, gotta watch the quiet one. Open your throat and eat a sandwich after. 10. I'd broken another window playing stickball. Nothing to brag about. Sun plummeting from pastel horizon, but swung hard as ever. Quick miss, small ball, lost grip, sent slick wooden stick whizzing through freshly lit storefront. Was it Taylor or hardware man we ran from? Point is, time was on our side. Didn't smuggle our way under night's kind cover, just happened. Wrapped us in black and carried us home. 11. Night Jack Johnson put Jim Jeffries' ass to canvas. I, the boy, could not concern myself with street celebration. A princess required rescue. She'd come to me in dreams, reaching down from crescent moon to stroke my sleeping cheek. I climbed her brass ladder, stuck a man with his own dagger, for nothing but a kiss, but what a kiss. Too busy the night whites rioted to hear wood whistle. Come morning, we both noticed the sky. One dozen sooty smoke columns rising to white talcum clouds. Twelve. Blame the hammered steel sky. A loose drum rattling off. A stagnant cloud cover which troubles the sun, tarps far hills in enormous shadow. Blame the topsoil, plumb with the blood of stuck jugulars. Say rains came, too little, too late. Flower box is what took my faith away. Barren land below the bedroom window where bulbs won't grow. Our father art elsewhere. Bright life left in the night and no one notices. Just you, me, and the honeybees. Thirteen. Chased another pertly girl through tall sweet corn when sky opens up wide. Sends warm fat droplets beating through oily scalps. Soaked cotton clothes. Given name escapes me now. And I would not assume connection between the two, if I were you. Summer weather was nothing special. Humidity held every sweaty day hostage. We smelled storm clouds coming close for many miles. She smiled, hung gospel song with dirty feet, dilated eyes, crooned me close, slapped left, left cheek decently and ran lean as jackrabbit. Her knobby frame faded into a gauntlet of long green leaves. Thought I'd lost her to stalks when the rain came. So I shout, Lord's name vainly, turn back, and she's there, rapturous, waiting. 14. Sister, I miss her. More than netted fish misses river. 
dream, dwarfed before sky blue door, clouds included, she singing hymns from other side, communion Sunday, turn knob, knock knuckles raw, but this no ordinary door to be answered ordinarily, organ chords, can hear collective crack snapped wafers, quiet soul seeking spiritual salvation, while sister blows down Jericho with rich soprano vocals. The door stays closed, and I wake the way always do, shaded beneath blooming magnolias. Today, share nothing but blood. Heard she's married now. Fifteen. Kept ear down to tracks, waited for that unmistakable rattle of oncoming freight. The wind makes wildflowers, leaves, high grasses dance. I picture metal pushing metal to heavy limits along rivers of cold-blown glass. Cars hauling grains, scrap, wet-eyed cattle dreaming of back pastures sent for quick dismemberment in city meat market. The sunup warms the rail, warms my cheek. Black coal smoke rises from a timbered bend. I'm ready. I walk home in the train's fading wake, wondering what it's like to get laid. 16. Misfortune tore skin from knee, formed scab, and took that too. Again I lay wincing by a river of cratered cement, sun plummeting, moon in apparition, remembering Zion. I'll walk the black alleys home, over old firewood, pots, down thin flapping corridors formed of pearly bed linen, hung to dry on stiff laundry twine. Memories swell heavy, tap me from behind. Folks, they know. I'm that injured boy limping through your flower garden, lost in song, that boy out back who can't keep a scab. 17. Hard sleep since store went up, burned down, saw father's smudged face in the paper, read the storefront, where he talked scripture, told jokes, white folks come to have sheets cleaned, street sweepers, railroad hands, polish the fleet, they call nigger work. May we all, young or old, find achievable peace in the jaw of nigger work. May we live to kiss a child's eye good night. 18. Fit of fever delirium. I'd ask my deceased mother if I could go further. This according to cousins. Sometimes I wonder just where I was. Up creek, up tree, around bend, across the street, wanting to read ahead desperately. But I like to think I'd gone inward, turning towards her lit image and away from this world when she sent me back to body in auntie's cool compress. In 19. One day, gonna get my blues right, balance out on a slick black limb hung above grandmother's wild herbs. She picks her fresh mint for two hot teas. I leave, shoot above the trees. One day I ride a low breeze, skim the lake's quiet surface with fish in my teeth. And people will chatter, say, who be that boy who flies so damn low? What does he know? And they'll wonder with beet red cheeks if I've been here all along. Thank you.